Hello and welcome to another edition of Trotsky or Bust. I just had to do one real quick. Um, it's just been an ongoing joke the last few days. I'm sure you saw that idiot on um, the 60 Minutes, uh, Howard Schultz. I know nothing. Um, and you're wondering why the media is making such a big deal out of it. And that, of course, is the, the real story. Howard Schultz has zero chance of winning. Okay, I I'll get I could get more votes than that idiot. Uh, I shouldn't call him an idiot. He did make a ton of money for himself, but uh, it's the same shit that they're trying to bring on the cent. The Democrats have gone too far to the left, and we need a centrist. You know who's a centrist? Bernie Sanders. That's who's. A, if we were living in any other country, in Canada or uh, UK, Germany, Japan. Any other country, Bernie Sanders would be considered probably not the centrist, probably a bit the right center because uh, he does, he isn't kind of he, he didn't he's against banning uh, guns. So um, this fake bullshit, like you have the Democrats who are ninety nine percent, ninety nine point nine 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 percent in the pockets of corporate America. You have the Republicans who are hundred percent in the pockets of corporate America, and we need someone right down the middle. You know, um, corporate interests. You can't. They, they, you can't totally, I mean, they're not really being, oh my God, they're not being represented. This is such bullshit. It's just fake center. Now, why is the media showing him? Why are the some Democrats, like a, another Schultz, uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, she, oh, she's worried, can't have a third party, like Schultz is a third party, right? That the real third party won't be a real left party, a real working people's party. Uh, that's just, and they'll have attack, and I'm sure Bill Maher will jump on this, this Friday, that fucker. Um, what about Starbucks? Starbucks is shit. As someone from Middle Eastern uh, descent, I, I love coffee. Starbucks coffee tastes like crap. It's way overpriced. Let's just not go there. Let's boycott it, because this fucker is fighting, he's basically fighting healthcare. That's what he's fighting. He says, oh, he gave it to all his employees. And isn't he great? You know how much he pays his employees? The median, median wage at Starbucks is about $12,750. $12,750. How much did he pay his CEO? $13.4 million. All right, so we're already living in a Starbucks America where the CEO makes over a 1,000 times what the median employee makes. Right, that's the model they want for America. Of course, no one's challenging him. No one's going to challenge him or Michael Bloomberg, another billionaire. We c Medicare will bankrupt us. It'll bankrupt us. You know, um, doesn't bankrupt Canada or the UK or Germany or Spain or Finland or thirty-two out of thirty-three developed countries have doesn't bankrupt them because they have universal health care, government-controlled universal health care. We're the only ones, all right? So it'll bankrupt us. Why? Why does this motherfucker say it? Well, how did he make his money? The guy's worth $51 billion. He's got a media empire, okay? Health and pharmaceutical companies spend three point, over $3.5 billion a year on the, the media. The TV media, another two, I think another two and a half or so on the internet, but that's how much money they spend. All right, that's why these uh, Medicare, the media is going to attack Medicare for all. Don't kid yourself; they make a lot of money off this. You watch TV; every other commercial is from a dr drug dealer. Okay, it's giving you this pill and that pill, and um, doctors aren't better. I mean, I was always healthy my whole life; never been in a hospital a day. Then about 12 years ago, I got uh, Hashimoto's thyroid. My thyroid went out. That's why I be, uh, <laughs> ballooned a little bit. Well, that's my excuse anyway. No, it's both, I guess. Um, doctors are, I, see, I used to see doctors as healers. I know this doesn't apply to all of them, but now I just see doctors as business people who are trying to maximize profits. Uh, that's all they've become. And I'm sure the pharmaceutical and health uh, is probably, companies are probably pushing them. You know, uh, tell your patients to take this and that and whatever uh, other crap they don't need. It's it's money. It's big money. And that's why it's going to be really hard to do, uh, even though the people want it. Uh, I just saw Kamala Harris. What a fucking joke. She said, 
get rid of the health uh, private. Well, you have private com uh, healthcare in Canada and all the other countries. Sure, let billionaires go there. That's what they'll do anyway. But now she's backtracking because, you know, yeah. And the good thing about Kamala Harris, I was a bit worried because they were pushing her. If you've watched her, she makes Hillary Clinton look charismatic. Kamala Harris isn't going anywhere. And now backtracking on this is not going to help her. And no one's even mentioned Steve Mnuchin. So, I mean, Kamala Harris was seemed like the optimal candidate for them. Uh, their idea is to beat Bernie. And the way they did it last time was they beat him with in the South with black women, didn't vote for him. And that, um, now I guess he's more popular. So not that it matters. I don't think Bernie's going to do anything. I don't even think Bernie's going to run. I'm not sure he will. And um, I'm not sure if he's going to be the nominee. I am sure if he's not the nominee that he won't run as a third party. So if Bernie wants to do something, he could create a third party. You know, the Democrats are not going to change. This is them. They're not the party of Bernie or uh, Ocasio-Cortez. Those, those are just there just to sheepdog you into the party. That's all they're there for. Um, the alternative's not much better. Uh, Jill Stein, you know, uh, I'm totally convinced she's a plant. I mean, think what happened in 2016. I mean, both parties had their insurgent candidates. The Republicans had Trump. Democrats had Bernie. Bernie lost, which means that his supporters should have gone over to the Green Party. The Green Party should have way up outperformed the Libertarian Party. But just the opposite happened. You know, it made no sense. I mean, if you're uh, angry, then Trump was your candidate. You don't need to vote Libertarian. 3% did. Only 1% voted for the Green Party. The Green Party should have had about three, four times as much as the Libertarian Party. They would have if they didn't have these shit candidates like Jill Stein, you know. Um, so I, I don't so I don't see any any hope there. We we still, like as I said before, we still need a third a real third party, one that, you know, cares about the issues and one is interested in winning. Jill Stein was not. Uh, she's just there to sabotage the party. Um and of course, you're going to hear it's the most election, most important election of our time. We've got to get rid of Trump. That's what we can have a third part, third party. The most important election of our lives will be the election when we finally get rid of these fucking bastards, the Democrats and Republicans. They've been with us forever, and they've done nothing for us. Okay, they've done nothing for us. So let's get rid of them. And this fucker Howard. Um, you know, I, I wish we had a real third-party candidate, you know, but just to give us another corporatist to pretend to be something. Uh, and no one believes him. I mean, anybody in the media is either lying to, which I think most of them are, or admitting that they're totally out of touch with the American people. The American people are not with Howard Schultz, okay? They're not. They, you know, the American people are... I don't know. Uh, hopefully with Trotsky soon. Hopefully. But um, that's it. Um, tell me what you think. Give me thumbs up, thumbs down. Have a good day. And um, if you have an idea for a third party, please let me know. All right. Thank you. Trotsky out.